Hello everyone, just a quick update from this sort of voluntary semi-lockdown world we're currently living in in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Uh, but wherever you are in the world, I think you should really take serious note right now that inflation is already completely out of control. It's like a wildfire burning and the chief of the fire department is saying, you know, if the flames pick up, we could probably do things that would just stop it in its track so you don't have to worry. Uh, meanwhile, forests, villages, towns are being destroyed. But, you know, if it gets really bad, we're here. We know what we're doing. We're not behind the curve. Like, that. actually, Fed presidents are actually coming out at the moment and saying, no, we're not behind the curve. I mean, how funny is that? Um, if ever you wanted a, a final confirmation that people didn't know what they were doing, it's Fed presidents actually saying those words. Um, so we have a situation where inflation in the US is at, what, 40, 42 year highs or something, highest since 1982. Uh, back in 1982, the central bank was already raising interest rates to cut it off aggressively. Here, well, we think we'll raise rates next year, maybe three times maybe by 25 points, maybe by 15 points. It's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Does anyone have any real idea out there? And where's the critique from the media, the financial media, of just how bad these central bankers are at their jobs? Now, not all central bankers, Mexico, South Korea, other countries around the world have already been raising rates once, twice, or three times to head off inflation. But the Federal Reserve. We're super conservative. We're super, we know what we're doing. So we're not going to rush out just because a couple of hundred acres of forests are burning and turn any hoses on. We're just going to plan to turn the hoses on. So what we're going to see in the world going forward is that inflation gets much, much worse. Now, people think the problem with inflation is that it means higher interest rates and higher interest rates are bad for the stock market. I've taught for decades now that um, stock prices and interest rates can go up together. Stock prices and interest rates can go down together. There is no law that if interest rates go up, stocks go down. I don't think the stock market's overvalued or it's going to go down because uh, the Fed will be raising interest rates. I think the stock market is in trouble because it's totally overheated. It's way beyond any realistic valuations. And I don't mind if you include the tech sector in that, actually. Um, and the Main Street real world economy of the United States and much of the world is in much dire, more dire straits than anyone is giving it credit for because they have this rosy look out of their ivory tower approach to everything that it, you know, it doesn't matter how bad things are now because they'll get better eventually. Inflation eats away at the foundations of an economy. It tends to create a wages inflation spiral, price rise spiral. And we've already got data confirming that in the United States and it's happening elsewhere in the world. That means things get completely out of control. And in the end, wages can't keep up, consumers can't keep up, so they retrench. Businesses get stressed, they retrench, and you have a recession or a depression. And it's because of a wages inflation spiral as manufacturing slows. That is a diabolical formulation. That is the formulation that currently exists in the United States. And in Australia, we're going to see the domestic economy not only slow during this surge of Omicron cases, and tragically, the number of deaths, multiples now, you know, it's above 20 for a couple of days running now in uh, New South Wales and Victoria, and, and the numbers are going up. Uh, so it is, a, as I always said, we would pay a human price for this reopening. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't have reopened, I'm just saying we threw all caution to the wind and that was a bad idea. So now we're in dire straits, but my point at the moment is that we're not just going to have an economic slowdown during the surge and the peak of the crisis or supply chain disruption. These are going to be ongoing aspects of the Australian economy over the next few months. That is a big negative economic impact. In the United States, exact same things are happening. And in the United States, inflation is much, much worse, totally out of control. So we're going to see 
the consumer reach a tipping point where they can no longer cope. And that is going to undermine the long-term foundations of the US economy. And that's why I caution on the stock market at these lofty levels. I hope I've chewed you up. Have a fantastic day. Uh, great to chat to you. Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities. Thank you.